uh, circle and tangent. Uh, on this lesson, we will talk about the circle and what is the tangent. So, what uh, we have on the circle. Let's talk about circle. A circle, it's a point sets. When you put these points, these points are all equal distance from the center. So let's put the area center and give the center the name of of like origin, like center. That's the center. And let's put here capital R. We put give the names points of the names with capital letter. We call this line a radius. If I draw a line, it's passed through the center. So it's not at the moment. Let's make it pass through the center. This is called diameter. As you see, there are two radius. This is called diameter. If we draw a line segment from circle to other circle that doesn't pass through the sinusoidal, that's called chord. And one more thing, arc. That's another arc. This blue line is called arc. It's arcs on the circle. Chord, it's a line segment that doesn't pass through the center. So from center to circle, we call that one radius. So from circle to center we call that one radius and two times radius together that's past a chord passed through the center we call it diameter. These are some names of the line segment and part of the circus. Uh, to understand the all chapter of six or so circle geometry, you need to know these names. <coughs> yeah, it's lesson time. Well, let's continue. Tangent. Let's delete everything here. Let's continue with the tangent. When we talk about tangent, of course we have a circle, but uh, let's change the color of this circle to black. Okay. And a tangent is a line that passes through the from the circle only one point. It passes through the one. It's touched only here, a common point. They have one common point. We call this line tangent of the circle so there's infinite tangent i can draw that one that one if you see it, the tangents all the time perpendicular to radius so this will be 90 degrees as you see or if i draw a radius to the this tangent crossing intersection point so it will be again perpendicular but i couldn't connect that too sorry that's come on that's better Okay, so this will be perpendicular. Come on, why didn't see it? I couldn't. Ah, that's that's an empty place. That's better. Now, now let's check. Let's say ninety degrees. Of course, there is infinite tangent. I can draw. That's another tangent. As you see, it's directly become perpendicular because a tangent all time perpendicular to radius. That's my Let's shrink this shape. Okay. Now we know the tangent. That's a circle. That's tangent is this line or line segment like line. Uh, it's all time perpendicular to the radius. That's the first property. Each tangent line is perpendicular to the radius at the point of the tangency. We call tangents at this intersecting point. Each line perpendicular to a radius of a circle at a point on the circle is tangent to the circle at this point. So, if it's tangent, it must be perpendicular. If it's perpendicular, we call it tangent. That's first two things. Second, theorem of the tangents. What is theorem of the tangent? Let's come here and continue. Let's delete everything here. Draw another circle. Sorry, let's change that color to black. That's the circle. Let's move the circle here. If I draw a tangent here and another tangent from here, yeah, that's it. Doesn't matter how you I draw it. Sorry. Now, let's say this is tangent point, crossing point. Let's use different color to make it clear. Let's say this point A, this point B, this intersecting point is C. All the time, A, C, length of 
AC is equal to length of the BC. For any tangent, if there are two crossing tangent, this part will be equal to that one. That's the first thing. For any two tangent, if they are cross, so from crossing point the tangents of points all times are congruent. We can say that one. Of course, let's uh, delete that one. Let's make one more example and continue the next theorem. That's okay. So it looks like ice cream cone. Of course, if this is a circle, this part all time equal to that one. These two parts are congruent. That's the rule. Another rule, common tangents uh, theorem. I'm not going to draw it again. So if you have two circles, if you have two circles, from this point to this point, let's say D, E, let's say F and G. So D, E is congruent so it's a, the length of the d is equal fg the length of the fg so the lengths are equal they are congruent or same we can say d e f g so d e to fg again congruent so i can write one word here up oh, sorry i forget to like the shape So these are equal, that's very easy, it's already known from this intersection point, these two are equal and these two are equal because of that D equal the FG and it's very similar, these two are equal to. That's, these are the theorems, let's solve some examples. Uh, find the length of JL, as we know if these are the tangents, it's given as a tangent, 2x plus 9 must be equal 4x minus 1, 4x minus 1 equal 2x plus 9 minus 2x minus 2x 2x minus 1 not 9 2x minus 1 equal 9 2x equal 10 x equal 5 so x is equal to 5 we find the value of x what is the question jl so jl equal the length of the jl equal 2x plus 9 2 times 5 plus 9 that's 2 times 5 plus 9 10 plus 9 it's equal 19 So be careful the question does if you find X and it doesn't that's not the question What is the question the length of the JL so you need to calculate length of the JL Finding X is not enough. It's the first step of the uh, Answer so again ST and SU are tangent of the circle find the ST this time So if these are tangents these are equal so y minus 4 equal 3 over 4 y so, minus 3 over 4y, minus 3 over 4y, y minus 3 over 4y equal 1 over 4y, minus y, 4, so these two will be 0, equal 0, plus 4, plus 4, so, I, so let's continue from here, 1 over 4y equal 4, y equal 16, that's 1 over 4y, so multiply both sides by 4, 4 times 4, 16, and this will be cancel each other. So y equals 16, that's not enough, why? It's asking st, st, end of the st, it's equal y minus 4, 16 minus 4, it's equal 12. That's it. <coughs> Again, be careful, only finding the variable is not enough, it's asking length. The diagram PR and PS are tangent of the circle, find the MP, so if these are the tangent, so let's like that shape again, as we know from center to the tangent, from center to the tangent, so this angle must be 90 degrees, these angles must be 9 right angles, so that's a quadrilateral shape, PRQS, it's a quadrilateral, what we know, some of the all so angles 3x plus another 90 it's equal 180 so x 90 3x another 90 it's equal no not 180 360 180 sum of the triangles that's four sides so 360 
if you remember we learned the rule for side shape sum of the interior angle 4 minus 2 multiplied by 180 so 4 minus 2 2 2 times 180 360 so x plus x 4x plus 180 it's equal 360 so x plus x 3x 90 plus 90 180 so minus 180 minus 180 4x equal 180 x equal 45 i find value of x it's asking what is the measure of p measure of p equal to x so measure of p is equal 45 because it's equal x 45 degrees and the last question de is asking de so there is no it look like uh, hard very hard question because the, there is no information of de but we know if there are two circles de and bc so these tangents must be equal common tangents we call them common tangents so it's equal x minus 5 so what is x x minus 5 equal x minus 5 x can be any number but here again AB must be equal AD. So AD is X. X equal 23. X is given now. What is DE? DE is equal X minus, 20, uh, so X minus 5. So 23 minus 5 is equal 18. So DE is equal 18. JL. Again, very interesting question why because jl it doesn't give we don't know anything about jl but what i know if these are tangents so that must be equal to that one and this is tangent of the great biggest circle so that must be equal to that one so they are all congruent therefore i can say 6y minus 2 equal 30 minus 2y 6y minus 2 it's equal 30 minus 2y plus 2y plus 2y 8y minus 2 equal 30 8y equal 32 y equal 4 i find the value of y so they're all equal it doesn't matter which one i use so it will be same answer let's use 6y minus 2 6 so jl jl it's equal kj and it's equal 6y minus 2 6 times 4 minus 2 6 times 4 24 minus 2, 22. That's a good question. Okay, that's the uh, last question. A, B, and A, C are tangent to the circle. So, and this question, if I'm not mistaken, I forget right. A, what is the length of the A? That's the question. I forget to write it here. Sorry about it. So, if that's a tangent. That's a b and a c must be ten. And if this is radius three and three, so how it works? To calculate a d, as you see, that's ninety degrees. So to calculate a d, let's say length of the a d is l, or length of the a b is can be c. Let's say c. We don't know it a. So this is c. How we can calculate it? Three, ten, and hypotenuse. We can use Pythagorean theorem. C squared equal three squared plus ten squared c square equal 9 plus 100 c square equal 109 c equal square root of 109 of course you can say c equal negative square root 109 square root of 109 but ad is a length so negative is not possible for the length therefore i only wrote positive part that's the end of this video thanks for listening